Hello there and welcome back. Well, we are in for a treat this hour. We've got the lovely Jo Jarrett coming up, which I will introduce, oh, we'll introduce you to her in a few moments. We're just getting things set up in the studio here because, of course, it's a bit of a strange period of time for us here and we've got lots of different things we have to do in between shows. So, hence, I will tell you a little bit about the products that we've got coming up and what to expect. Now, of course, when Jo comes, she brings her fabulous kind of skills and techniques using acrylic and we're going to use it in so many different ways. Fabulous little pouring techniques. And I'm feeling a little bit miffed because usually I'll be demonstrating a alongside Joe, but obviously at the moment we're not allowed to but I have got something that I created a little while ago with Joe in one of the previous shows and what Joe also does is she's got a very creative mind as to bases for you to work with and she's come up with some amazing pieces for you these are brand new to you today and we are looking at your birch ladies now birch with regard to obviously the wood that has been used and I have to say the grain is absolutely beautiful within these of course you've got the outline I love the way it's almost like a, a semi silhouette so to speak here which of course gives you the opportunity if you imagine this open area that you've got here behind her head you are going to have absolutely loads of fun with regards to these now you're going to get loads within here you've got your larger pieces as you can see you've also got your smaller pieces and you've got some even smaller pieces down at the front here so you really are going to have loads of scope whether you want to use them as just little small um, pieces of art in coasters whether you want to use them in a picture frame whether you want to use them perhaps you've got something like a tray or a table that you think it's just got that depth in there that you'd love to actually add something to I did one recently with bottle caps and you can do that with acrylic because you're filling in the gaps around those elements but with a crystal clear finish perhaps you don't have to have it crystal clear but we'll chat about that as the hour goes on now 482 326 if you're wanting to get hold of your birch ladies the details are there on your screen why not pop those into your basket as well now of course I mentioned Joe I think we are ready to uh, to throw across to Joe let's say Hello, Joe. How are you doing? Give us Hello, a Hello, Darlene. You're it's all right. All, it is. We didn't have a chance to have a proper catch up before, huh? No, so we will do, though. We, we will you know, do, yes. When we're but, normal. Uh, it's just like a regular show. We'll just have a little conversation, yeah. a little chit chat as we go. I've so warned don't you not to leave me, though, because you know what I'm like. Anywhere. I'm bad so, enough on my own. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry I shall not leave you alone for a moment there so I'm going to pop over and see Joe again in a few minutes so I'll leave you to get ready um, now the piece that you might have seen Joe is working with a fabulous um, silicon mould we'll have a look at that in a few moments got that further on but we're going to move on from our lovely ladies to the next bundle now this is where you're going to be adding that gorgeous detail now if you're wanting to do something more on an abstract nature then you can't go far wrong with these you are going to get all four of these packs now when you actually see these these are amazing Amazing. Let me just should I put some of these in the, the tray here. Little pieces of glass that you're going to be able to have. Now, don't be worried. Don't think, oh, gosh, they're going to be um, sharp and they're going to hurt my fingers or anything like that. They are polished, so you're not going to have any problems with regards to those edges there. But these are designed to actually sit within your acrylic pores now, or your resin pores, should I say, with these. Um, and they are beautiful because they keep that, um, that kind of clearness because, of course, that's what you're working with. And, in fact, I've got something similar to what we've got um, here. So this is a piece that I worked on with Joe a little while ago. And here you can see you've got those those fabulous elements there so you've got obviously um, your raised features because you'll put all your um, your pour on there but then you'll put your elements in and they will stay there just need to make sure that it lays flat because obviously while it's still fluid if you tip, tip it up then they will move around but once it has dried this has actually come out of my little dressing room um, they do um, they just stay where they are um, and of course the beauty is you can change the colors just started off there just with a piece of MDF that's all it was so it doesn't have to be anything fancy you can see here where I was a little bit messy and I did get it on the mat as well but so uh, you can see there um, that's the kind of effect you can get just literally adding colour to your pour you will get these amazing results and of course it's those fabulous little glass pieces that do add the different elements four different colours in there including your uh, fabulous white as well so if you're wanting these again just tipping those out they are amazing and they're just going to keep that colour I love those gorgeous pastel colours and then of course you've got that baby pink in there um, as well as the green and the clear as well look at these it's almost like sugar candy isn't it gorgeous you're not gonna be able to put these back into the tub then so i'm only just putting a little bit out just so as you can see them you are getting a lot within each of these packs though so they are you just literally that would be just one project you wouldn't need many more than that and of course you've got all those fabulous colors which you can use independently or mix them all together if you fancy a real nice mix in there so there you go if you're wanting your um, glass pieces your crushed glass 9.99 for your huge bags that you've got there pop them into your basket before you check your basket out though you might want to go for the other set because within mine you'll notice that 
it with some darker tones as well. Now I don't think I actually use the bean glass but these are a similar sort of idea but this time you kind of got a smoother edge to them. So if I pop these into the tray again you see obviously you've got your pack there we've got your multi colors in there so i'm seeing rose pinks reds clear beautiful blues lots of different sizes within there as well that's the key thing and lots of different shapes then you've got your monotone pack so you're going to get some black and white featuring within there again all polished some little spheres in there you can see some of those rolling around little beads in there another pack that you're going to get is your clear with um it kind of like your white tones in there as well so that's a nice little mix they do work really well together and the other pack that you've got with regards to these ones are your crystal clear again so again nice little finish within those as you can see aren't they lovely oh those gonna look amazing within your pores now again brilliant value for money 9.99 huge tubs of those as you can see there and of course those are similar to what i use in my project so if you fancy those 9.99 857014 if you're fancying those now one of the projects that you might be interested in making is something that's going to be a practical use that you can use afterwards because that's the beauty of using your resins is you can do that and we've got your two clock bases here now these are beautifully cut absolutely gorgeous you can see you kind of got your daisies your lovely um tulips around here and of course you've got your quarter hour point so you've got your 12 o'clock your three o'clock six o'clock and your nine o'clock feature on there not just your clock bases though this is what i find incredible you are actually getting your two clock mechanisms as well so these aren't two separate sets you are getting everything here so for 9.99 you are able to make two clock bases or of course you could use these clock bases in anything where you can actually drill that hole in the middle to the right size 9.99 one eight one three eight three if you're fancying these pop them into your basket all you need to do is add in your little battery when you come to finish off your clock and then you've got a fully functioning clock so uh, yes nice bases to work with definitely consider popping these in your basket that's a really good price 181373 i've paid more than that um for for two of those clock mechanisms let alone the mdf pieces as well so yeah worth going i love the hands that you've got in there as well classic style beautiful so yeah if you fancy getting those pop them into your basket as well as i say joe janet is here she's going to be taking us through our paces so is everything that we need to know about working with these resins but we've got some more fabulous bases for you now these are going to look familiar because you've got your stencils with these so this time we've got the lovely ladies in a stencil format so you can see within the plate that we've got here you've got all your silhouettes six of those silhouettes there really pretty the eyelashes and everything that you've got in there the amount of detail phenomenal then of course you've got additional pieces in here you're getting loads now you're getting some coasters now coasters there's a product coming up in a few moments that you might want to add in because of course with coasters there's going to be a little bit of heat when you put your cup down and things like that so we can help you with that in a few moments you've got your discs but you've also got frames as well which they marry up perfectly. So if you did want to use them together, then you could do quite easy, which is nice because you kind of got that recess, maybe taking some of those glass um, elements and the little tiny spheres that we were looking at. And then you've got some slightly smaller ones. So again, if you're wanting to layer things up, you can do that quite easily. And of course you have got your fabulous ladies, which of course, if you wanted to use alongside the coasters, you can do like those 10.99 again you're getting a lot because you're getting all of those elements as well as the stencil at the back there brilliant value so 153021 if you fancy getting hold of those now something that i spied in the uh, the crafty area where our joe is working with this we haven't even had a chance to show you this now i know joe's been doing a lot of kind of promotion through her own facebook page and website this has already sold out before I got to it, but we have got more on extended delivery. What you've got here, just looking at an extra 10 days, my goodness, the weight behind this, this one is an incredible silicon mold. Now the detail that you've got in here, have a look at that. That is amazing. The tiniest detail is picked out within here. Now, looking at a considerable price with regards to this 57.99, but it's a huge piece that you're going to be able to work with. And I know, Joe, I know that if you are creating these, you will be able to make and sell these. So these, when you see the finished result, you can understand why it's such a wise investment of your money. Here, you can see the finished article. Now, have a look at this. The detail that you have got. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. Now, obviously, it's a green man. It's a, a traditional style. Can I turn it around? Because I think the back of this is just as amazing as the front here. You could decide. I mean, which I love this. It's like one of those magic 
magic things that you see, isn't it? Because it looks very three-dimensional. So obviously it's kind of an, an innie rather than an outy, because that's your innie and that's your outy on the other side, isn't it? But it looks amazing. Absolutely incredible. Love that. It's just a fine detail. £29 being your first flexi buy on that one. Of course, that does open up a flexi order, but it is a considerable piece, you can see there. Um, 23 centimetres high, so it's a good size piece. And again, if you're making to sell, then this is going to be a really popular one to go for. 221003 if you fancy this one. Two flexi buys on this one. One more thing that I'm going to share with you, something that is new to us. And I did touch on it a few moments ago when we were talking about the coasters, which is why we'll mention it before we head over and see Joe. You've got this um this sealer now I checked with joe beforehand just what i needed to know about the show and things like that when we're prepping um and this she was explaining to me if you've got something that's going to be um hot when it's sitting on one of your um your resin pieces then you need to seal it and this will um be the, the way that you do it you've got your two parts here so as we've often heard you mix what well, part a part b and that activates everything give it a good stir you've got your gloves and everything that you need within here but that means that you are sealing your piece of work your art your coaster it might be that you're using one of the larger mdf pieces that we've got and you're going to be popping a teapot on there or something like that this just means you are preserving the design that you've created beneath it and really protecting it so as you can kind of see the benefit of it for many many years to come now 25 pounds and 49 pence being your price on this one you are getting your two parts there three four seven six eight three if you fancy getting hold of these freedom members you have got a discounted price on this one incidentally as well so uh, if you fancy having a little go there um, now this is something else that we've got we haven't had the opportunity to share it with you yet but we will show you a little bit later on we're going to move everything around because we're going to meet up with joe again in a few moments this one you've got a really lovely set it's a resin and pigment starter kit so you've got loads in here you've got your two-part resin as you can see there and um, you've also got your mica pigments now you have got loads of those these pots are huge because you use the tiniest amount you've got full instructions with these you've obviously got your protective gloves if you choose to use your gloves and then of course you have got your stirring sticks now ignore that dispatch because unless I've been asleep in a cave somewhere we've moved on from March um, well, no, in May so I think that was the last time we may well have seen it here at Chanda now seven three six seven six eight if you want in these this um, set two flexi buys of 19 pounds and 99 pence being your price with this one um, but um, what we are going to do is going to hand over to joe in a few moments i've just noticed that joe's not got a monitor though so she may want to borrow one of my monitors because i can manage with the little one that i've got because i know that um, it's useful with regards to these so um okie dokie so um right what we're going to do is i'm going to pass over to um joe and uh, yeah see what joe is up to hi joe you're all right <laughs> yeah i think so just about, I'm here. Oh, <laughs> we're not going to be able to bring the monitor down. But if you look to the far end of the studio, uh, yeah, you'll be able to see. Yeah, I've got my glasses on. Yeah, put, you got, you lock, you got your distance ones on. Uh, no. Well, uh, these are bifocal, so you go like that and you can't see a thing. So oh, I'm all right if I go like that. <laughs> I can well, see. I'll be doing the old left a bit, right a bit then, if needs be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, you've got this silicon um, mould. Tell yeah. me about this. Right. So silicon moulds I've been making for quite a while. I keep looking at you. Is that all right? Yeah, uh, you can look at me on looking? the camera, whichever you oh, like. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so... I've just, um, I just fell in love with this green man. Fabulous um, design. He's huge. The actual mould is about nine and three quarter inches. I don't know what that is in millimetres. Okay. Um, and the actual casting is about eight and three quarters. Right. Um, he takes a kilo of silicon. Okay. Um, and he takes me about an hour to pour each yes. one because you have to pour it slowly. So you, you have get... to do layers, don't you, as well? Yeah, you just just because he is so deep and big, you need to get that air released from yes. all the detail. Um, once it's come up to the top on the back, it's fine. So yes. it's just a slow pour. And then I just sort of hand finish, hand cut round okay. all round the outside. So it does take a bit of a while, but I just love him. It's worth it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, everyone that's seen him, yeah, just loves him, well, and I've, the detail. Have you as have you? Is absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought, what I'll do is I'll show you how to decorate it. How I've done that one. Okay. There's loads of different ways. You can even use your air dry clay. Um, so I've got 
that one that I kind of started just to okay. show you. You don't have to pour all of the mould. No, you we're, can pour. we're in a bit of a tricky situation, Joe, at the moment. Everything you're doing is fine, except this, everybody's loving this mould so so much. It's sold out again. Okay, so, thank you. Um, do we, shall I give you the details and show you the mould again while we see if we can have a conversation with Joe about getting some more? Is that a good idea? Sorry, there's me producing from the floor, but we need to know, don't we? Because if you want this, the last thing you want to do is find that you've missed out on it. So, um, with regards to this, you've got good. the big mould, and as you heard there from Joe, it's flying out. You are loving this. Um, now, I have heard in my ear we are potentially going to be able to get hold of this on a further extended delay. It's going to take us a few moments for us to get that set up on the website, so do hold fire. You might not be able to get it at the moment, but if you just wait a few moments, we'll get that all set up on our, um, our computer. It is going to be slightly extended beyond the extended, which I forgot what was in the first place because I've got this attention span of a goldfish, but I will tell you in a few moments. But the details are there back on your screen, so keep a note of that item number. Be ready to order though, because the fact that this has flown out and sold out twice already, you're going to have to be quick. Now we're now looking at the 18th of May with regard to the dispatch on this one, which again isn't too long to wait because Professor Jo, you know what she's going to be doing when she gets back home, don't we? Um, so back with you again, Jo, so as you can carry on. Sorry to interrupt you. That's all right, love. Um, right, so what I was saying is you don't have to pour the whole of the mould. You can just pour his face. And what I've been doing is having a little play with air dry clay. Ah, uh -huh, um, okay. So you can pick up bits of detail. Yes. So that's just a kind of an idea that I've started. Um, this bit has come, I don't know, it's like a jigsaw. But it's from in here anyway. Uh -huh. um, so you can just pick your leaves out, you can pick your acorns out. Clever. So don't think you've got to fill it all with resin. Mm -hmm. um, use your air dry clay as well. Just do it as you would do with a little bit of corn flour, which I've got to bring today, so I can't show you how to do it. That's OK. Um, yeah, and just put your, your clay in and then just, yeah, just play about with him. Also, you don't have to um, keep, it, keep to the same colours. You can... Um, doing all one colour. I know there's a, a sort of a thing at the moment where a lot of people are sort of doing the ivory colours mm -hmm. yes, um, yeah. and then decorating. You can do that with these, you can do black, you can add white, um, any pigments, but you can also use your acrylic paints. Oh, okay. So if you wanted to pick out all the details, um, literally oh look i've messed my acorns up now it's because i'm talking oh um, bless you can't mold well, it's, it's just as not much right yet it's a green to. acorn <laughs> your green acorn yeah um so these are the mica pigments so when you're actually applying this it, will the resin go in on top of this then yeah oh, yeah right, okay. yeah they'll go in and that's what i did with that one you've got over there yeah so brush the mold yeah. and the same with acrylic paints if you paint it the resin will pick up all the acrylic paint yes. and hold ah, it. Clever. Um, so there's a few ways. So you can, you know, you can pour it all one colour if you want to, and then go over with your your waxes. Yes. Um, things like that. So, and you get, you know, you get such different looks with it every single time. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's, I'm hoping to. Um, I've got a green lady as well. Um, oh, I think you might need to bring that one to us. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, I've got me. I've got a feeling that's going to be popping. Now, the pigment that you're working with, I don't know if we've got that in any of the sets. I'm just looking at the, the pigment that we've got coming up. I think it's in the pack. In the starter the, kit. The end, the pigment, the bundle with the pigments. This particular one here where we've got all the different colours in there. That's it. Yeah. So that's like the starter kit that we've got. So yeah, yeah. That's if you it. are wanting your pigments, if you um, the details are going to pop up on your screen. So there you go. All your little pots, as you can see there. So of course you've got your resin, which is going to be what you'll use after you've used your pigments. And of course you've got your glue, um, not your glue, your stirring sticks there. And of course you've got your um, gloves that you're going to wear to keep your hands safe with these. And just any old brush that you've got, or does it have to be yeah, quite just a soft to brush? Make sure it's dry, dry okay. paint brush. Yeah. Um, don't worry too much. You could see where I've gone over the acorn. You could just wipe that out, but I'll just so go over it. So I suppose if you've got just what, just what the, something with moisture, do you have to keep moisture away from this? So like, I'm just um, thinking yeah, if you want no, to get moisture. Yeah, no, keep water. moisture away. Right. Um, especially with resin, because resin doesn't like moisture at all. Okay. Um, yeah, it uh, That's reacts good to, know. to it. Because I'd be straight in there with a little bit of a cloth or something to try and wipe that. So if you yeah. use, say like you've got some antibacterial wipes, which most people have, yes. add something with alcohol in, that's fine. Okay. As long as it's not water. Yeah, or a little um, cotton bud or something like that. Yeah, yeah. But it will come off easily. You can see how deep that mould is by you going in with that, no, that brush there. I, I 
don't know whether it's about two inches, is it? 40, oh, 47 millimetres rings about? Yeah, it's a really good depth. I mean, the de um, we did have the dimensions on the screen, but I think that's kind of the, the dimensions across and the length of it. Let's have a little look. Oh, no, four and a half centimetres deep. So I think, yeah, that you're right. It is a good depth of that one. Yeah, 23 centimetres from kind of the top down to the bottom of his beard. Then side to side, the widest point is 17 centimetres. And then you're looking at 4.5 centimetres for the depth, um, obviously the deepest part, because you've got different, um, depths within this piece. I might do him a different coloured beard. Oh yeah. What have I got? Mm, I do, mm. And I, I presumed a little bit when I was doing the talk at the beginning that if we make these, are we okay to sell them? Say that again. If we make these up, are we all right to sell oh, them? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I know there's. Uh, I mean, th there won't be hundreds of these about um, because I like to kind of. If everyone's doing the same thing, hmm. I get a bit bored. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So have you, have you bought silicone moulds to us before, Joe? I have. Yes. Um, I've, I've not worked with you on them before. I don't no, think. but normally they're, you know, someone else's. Yes. And the trouble, what happened was, I mean, I had to cancel the last show because I wasn't sure if I was on the vulnerable list. But I just think they didn't it was want best me to be safe anyway, wasn't it? Out. Yes. Um, and um, I was having trouble. I still am a little bit getting hold of stock. Yes. So I thought, well, this is something that I kept saying I'm going to do, um, and I can get all the supplies in the UK. There's UK businesses that need the business. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So I thought, right, okay, get your finger out and uh, <laughs> add a word with yourself. Have a word with myself. That's it. And uh, yeah, no. So I've started. So I've got loads of ideas. Fabulous. Um, well, wow. everybody's loving what you've bought already. So please, please, please do bring us more. And I know in the past, I, th I think you bought um, a set that we could make our own um, silicon. Yeah, molds, there is silicon yeah. on the website. Yeah. I think. Because I saw be. that. I can't remember. I wasn't in work on that particular day. And I remember seeing yeah. it and thinking, I wish I'd got that. But show. it's the same. It's the same silicon. Um, but as I say, I mean, this this takes a good kilo. Yes. Um, and we make the blanks to go into them as well. Um, so basically, I won't keep you for ages on this. Um, that looks fabulous already. But basically, if you want to use your pigments, then just brush them in dry. Mm -hmm. As I say, you can pour in more one colour okay. if you want, go over with waxes, um, or you can use your acrylic paints. Lovely. Now, I don't know, did you want to put any um, resin in this, or are we going to step away from I it now? I won't do, because he is deep, and yeah, then I've got to get him You're not going to get it all done while and you're here. be a bit leery in the back of the car. And, and then you've got to try and keep him balanced on the way yeah. home, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, if you want, we can go straight into your next demo. What I'm going to do is we'll just right. give the people the, the details again, if that's OK, and we'll yeah, come back fine. to you for your next demo. Yeah, lovely. Perfect. So, if you're wanting your green man silicon mould, it is a big mold as you saw that the detail you've got with this is incredible every little tiny fleck every curl of hair every detail from those leaves all contained within this fabulous silicon mold and you have been loving now let me get we sold out before we got to it we sold out on the extended we have now got further extended the 18th of may on that one and half of that particular extended stock stock has gone it's literally flying out now we've asked joe obviously a couple of times for more stock i think this is going to be the it this is going to be it. If you don't get it now, then you could potentially miss out on this one. And it is limited stock. So, yeah, it has been a popular one. Um, and, yeah, it's gone. Technically gone. If it's in your basket, then you need to be checking those baskets out because you will miss out on them. And you know me. If any of those fall back into our stock, I will let people know with regards to that one. So we're going to have to say goodbye to that one. So I'm going to say goodbye to that one. And I'm going to bring in the next item because the heat seal is something that's proved to be very popular as well. Now with this, this is perfect if you are wanting to create um, different elements obviously that, that you're going to need to seal because they're going to have heat applied to them. I'm thinking things like um, your discs. So the previous set we were looking at, we've got some discs that you could use as your basis for things like your coasters. So in here you've got your two bottles here. Now you've got your resin heater and you've got your sealer, part A and part B. Um, and uh, it, it tells you all about your you kind of combination and how you mix these together. I know Joe will explain these to us in a little, little more detail as the hour progresses. But it's got your stirrer as well, which of course is key because uh, it means that you've got something that you can start crafting with the moment it arrives. And then needless to say, you've got your all important gloves should you want to 
use them. Now, £22.94, if you're a Freedom member, that is all you're going to be paying for these. And this is brilliant because when you've worked with your resin and you've got that fabulous finish on something that's going to have uh, maybe cups put on top of it, coasters, I'm thinking of a tabletop as well because sometimes people can be a bit rude. They don't use a coaster, do they? They might just come along and put the mug down. Well, there you go. That is going to seal your table as well or any surface that you're wanting to pop it onto. So um, 347-683 if you're wanting to take advantage of those um, the details are there and of course if you are popping that in with any of your um, flexi orders of course you can spread the cost got a bit of a gap because obviously we had a green man there earlier on but he's gone but beyond the gap we are looking at some more circles now the circles that we've got here obviously they're larger than the coaster ones that we looked at a few moments ago we have got squares coming up in a few moments but you have got your two parters with these so you've got your outer frame you've got your inny and your outy with regards to these ones so you can see there you've got obviously they fit perfectly together so you could use them together if you wanted to um, or use them independently it's entirely up to you but you are getting loads of these you're getting three of those sets so you've got your outy and your innie in fact you've got different sizes with these as well haven't you let's have a little look because that's smaller than that one and that's a little one and that's ah there we go so you've got your frame and your innie you've got a, a small innie hold on let me get them all sorted out let get them in line you've got your three small circles you've got your three large circles and you've got your rings to go with your large circles there you go so that's what you're getting you're getting your innies and your outies with your circles but then you've got a larger circle which is the same size as the outer parameter of your frame so if you wanted to make a recess perhaps to to pop your uh, your pour in there perhaps use some of those fabulous little glass elements that we've got on the show as well so you've got lots of scope with these or of course you can have your pour going onto one of the smaller discs and perhaps create a beautiful frame to go around it 9.99 a very affordable set definitely one to consider got a similar sort of setup with regards to squares as well but if you're wanting the circles 087820 just nine pounds and 99 pence talking of which we have got the squares here so it's similar sort of scenario you've got your innies and your outies with regards to your frames and you've got your larger piece which of course is going to sit on the parameter of your frame as well so again if you want the recess you can do it that way if you're wanting to have your piece of artwork that you're wanting to frame then you've got an instant built frame there really good combination of pieces there because it gives you lots of scope depending on how you want to work with these and at 9.99 very very affordable so uh, yeah pop those into your basket as well eight three and uh, sorry eight nine three seven one six if you fancy getting hold of those now of course keep talking about resin but i haven't shown you resin yet have i well this is the bundle to go for we did see the mica powders though a few moments ago when we were looking at the green man demonstration but here you've got your two part mix so you've got part a and part b so you've got i think is it 500 in this one was it 750 oh we've got 750 and five well, we've got 750 of the larger one. Is that right, Joe? 500 the big one, 250 the small one. So, so it's 750 in total. Overall. So it's 500 with the large one, 250 with the smaller, and then you've got obviously all your pigments there as well. Full instructions, so you don't have to worry, but of course, Joe's going to take us through that in just a few moments. But £39.99, a little really does go a long way with these, especially if you're working with those MDF pieces because you only need the shallowest piece with regards to these. Obviously, you've got your mixer in there as well got more to share with you just a couple of other items which you'll find on the website to be honest so have a little look on there i can wobble on and talk about them but of course the best person to tell you about them is going to be our lovely joe and she's going to take us through another demonstration in a few moments so just moving the cameras and things around and um, to get in position but you can see that there's loads of different things for you to consider really affordable prices and of course you've got your flexi buy on there as well um we have had a question come through um, um as well so when we get to in fact should we have a chat with joe now i think we're all in position joe we've had a question come through asking about how much resin will we need to make the green man if somebody's bought the mold right um he is very deep and he takes 450 grams now you can use casting resin if you're using casting resin then do it in two different layers because casting resin um you can pour deeper oh, okay right. um, you can use your art resin because your art resin is cheaper than your casting resin okay so if you're going to use your art resin then do it in say four layers because you can only you can't pour that so deep okay because what happens if you pour it too deep it overheats right. so it can create a chemical reaction okay so yeah you can do it in either or as I say what you can do even is to use your air dry clay and then resin over the top right 
So, oh, I see. So do the whole thing in your air dry clay and then yeah. do like a layer on top. But if you were going for the 750 that we were just chatting about, is that going to be enough to do yes. your green man? So yeah, if plenty going in there. Particular set? Yeah, plenty in there. Lovely. And if you literally just want to do the face to add to um, other pieces of work, yes. yeah. that's, you know, that's less than 100. Oh, you know, perfect, you're talking yeah. about 50, 60 yes. in that bit. So there's plenty so in that can, set with the micas. Yeah, you can pick out details on that. Perfect. Um, but yeah, he is deep, so he is going to take a lot, unfortunately. Yeah, but he's worth it. But he's it. worth it. He definitely yeah, is definitely worth it. Worth it. Yeah. <laughs> now, Joe, what are we up to next? I can see right. you've got some of those birch pieces. Yeah, what I'm going to do is show you the resi heat. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm shouting, because you're over there. Sorry. <laughs> That's I'm all shouting. right, don't worry. Um, yeah, so the resi heat. Um, yes, resi heat. Tell me about this, because yeah. I, I was saying that it goes on top of coasters and things like That's that. That's right, yeah. yeah. Now, this resi heat goes up to 140 degrees. Wow. Most resins that have a heat resistant only go up to 90. Gosh, that's good. And your coffee cups can still mark. Yes. See, I tend to have black tea, so you've got boiling hot, there's yeah, not there's in, nothing to even any the milk heat down, yeah. in it. Yeah, so you'll put it on, you know, a coaster and it will leave a rim. So would you use this on top of the base of the other resin or would yeah. you just use it in its entirety? No, this is a sealer. So it just so goes on it the top? So it will go on any resin whatsoever. Okay. Um, you can even use it on your acrylic pours. Okay. So if you want to do an acrylic pour on a coaster yeah. and then seal it with the resi heat, you can. And so you can it doesn't see. have to be resin. Perfect. Um, it is a bit of a bizarre ratio though. Okay. But don't panic. All right. Go on it's then, take <laughs> us through it. Right. It says it's 128 to 128A to 100B, which okay. totally blew my mind. Basically, and it goes a long way, you only need a very small amount. So I would personally get a batch of coasters ready okay. and do a, lo do a lot. So if you did 20 grams of part A yeah. and 15 part B, sorted. And, and then it just be multiples of that as yeah. as it goes on. Right. Yeah. yeah, you can you can obviously do less. You can do ten and seven fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that that's just sense. an easy way to work it out. Otherwise, it will just. And if anybody's confused over that, we can get hold of you via social oh, yeah. media, can't we? Yeah, just tag me on crafting with a chanda. I mean, see, that's made thirty five meals. And you can see how much that's made. And I've got far too much for what I've got here. What your, pla your project. So, yeah. And always make sure you wear your gloves. Okay. Okay. So, literally, it's so easy to use. Pour it on. Okay. Doesn't have to be very thick. Now, is that not going to pour over the edges? No. Oh, okay. Well, not in my luck it will, but... <laughs> <laughs> you now know that you said like. it won't. Yeah, no, if you just take it up to your edges, because you can dome resin. Okay. Uh, any resin you can dome. And just make, you can use a brush if you want to. Yeah. I like to get my hands in, you know what I'm like. So the colour the... that you've got already there, where's that colour come from? Oh, that's one of the oranges. I think that's on the website. Okay. I've gone a bit bright coloured this time. I like um, it. Yeah, uh, orange and I think it's the liquid white there's a, an orange pigment so that's it okay so if you leave it about four hours give it a second layer yeah okay leave it for seven days and okay. if you're anything like me impatient then that's gonna hurt okay um, but leave it for seven days and that will get your full cure okay on that and it'll be fine um, so that's that one and I'll just cover this one and this is one of my little ladies. So I know you mentioned the colours being orange. So will that have been um, acrylic paint or how the do you orange? Yeah. There's should be there's pig no, it was a pigment. Right. Yeah, it's definitely a pigment. So the pigment um, was mixed with the resin and then went on first. That's it. Oh, I see. I'm with yeah. you now because of course the clear layer now is going on top of what yeah. you've already laid down that's dried. I'm with yeah. you. So if you wanted but in to this do distance, it's hard. To, you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to do um, trivets. Okay, yeah, if you pop some pans. Yeah, so you can do those. And the, um, you know, the circle frames, or the square frames, the yeah. inny bit, that's ideal size for a pan. Ah, okay. So, yeah, that's uh, 
just something different you can do. So if you've got, say, I don't know, we've been looking at some fabulous things like rice papers and other bits and pieces, oh, could this yeah. go on top? Uh, yeah, what I would do is do your, use your art resin first, Yeah. put it on, let it um, set and then go over. And um, I'm guessing you just need to make sure that it, it's not um, a colour medium that, that moves with moisture. Yeah. 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 All I'm thinking is like inkjet. If you printed something off on your computer, if it's inkjet, then it's likely to move when you put the yeah, resin on top. Yeah. yeah. Just nice because resin will just pick anything up if it's not, yeah. you know, as long as it's sealed, yeah. um, it's fine. But yeah, so it's as easy as that. That is fab To yes. apply. Um, and as I say, leave it four hours. You can put a second coat. It's setting already. It sets really quick. Looks very um, effective. Second you look coat on just to be sure. And um, it's lovely because of the movement that you've got with your colours there, it looks like her hair. Yeah, you yeah. see, oh yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll get on to the silhouettes next, but I've, I mean, I've still got loads, that's a bit of a waste really, Yeah. but I've still got loads left, but I haven't got anything else to smother it in. Well, that's um, okay, if you were at home, you'd, like you say, you'd have several yeah, projects ready to go. Yeah, I'll make a batch up on there. Um, but yeah, so that's the resi heat. Okay, now with the little bit that you've got left in the cup, um, how long have you got to actually use that? I mean, what's the, what's the time, well, the open time that you've got? I'm sure Tom said that if you was to put it in a empty bottle and seal it yes it would be all right but okay. because it's um with the i haven't actually tried that okay so it might be worth trying i haven't got any spare bottles no that's fine i should so have tried it but if it's you've just got a little it. bit left in a spare jam jar or something like that you just yeah, try it out yeah just just seal it um it's got about half hour working time okay so you so don't have to rush n yeah no it's fine and because you've literally just got to put it on it's plenty of time to you know to work with perfect on that so, love it. Yeah. Fabulous. Thank you. There you oh. go. How amazing was that? And I love it because, of course, each piece that you create, it's going to be different because the different swirls, the different way those colours have worked on that base layer, absolutely amazing. I love it. And, of course, when you're leaving it to dry, leave it to dry nice and flat because that is the key thing. It has to stay flat because otherwise it will move. But, of course, you could, while it's in that wet state, you could add in those little glass elements that we've got, those fabulous little beads, all those fabulous details, or any other inclusions that you're wanting to add in as well now the starter kit that we've been talking about has been a very popular bundle you've got 500 mils of one of your ingredients and, what, and then you've also got 250 the other because obviously you're going to be mixing those together now this is a slightly different ratio to the one that we were speaking of a, a few moments ago but don't worry everything is detailed on the bottle so you don't have to worry about that and if you've not got the details on the bottle it's on your instruction leaflet so you're not left on your own at all just need something like a little plastic cup um, um, just to kind of measure out those elements um, and just measure out what you need don't get this home and think right okay pour the two together because of course the moment they come together they start that chemical reaction that starts the active um, kind of process going if you want to change the color as we saw earlier on you can do that with your little micas just add that in again if you've got anything else experiment have a little play you might have alcohol inks things like that put little drops in there see the results that you get because if you're just decanting the smallest amounts or if you've got elements that are left over like joe just had Experiment with those leftover pieces because, of course, that means that you can do an experiment that you know works or doesn't work for the next time that you get it out. You've got a huge bottle here, as you can see. So you've got 500 ml of part A, and you can see there you're mixing um, two, two of your part A to um, one of your part B, which is why you've got kind of double the amount of this particular one to this one because that's your ratio. So if you're using 10 ml of this one, then you only need 5 ml of this one. 10 ml of this one, you'd need 20 ml of this one. That's how the ratio works. It's so, so simple and really easy to work with gloves pigment colors that you've got as well so you can change the color as you're working with it and of course fabulous mixing stick the price is incredible this is so effective if you like me i mean i i was collecting bottle caps to go on a, a little table and i'd almost got like it's like a tray top to a table so there was a recess in there put them all in place and then just take your time building up those layers don't be too impatient building up the layers and then eventually you will create something that could be an amazing piece of home decor that you'll be using for many years to come six three uh, sorry seven three six seven six eight you can see there are two flexi buys of 19 pounds and 99 pence and also if you want to encapsulate something maybe you've got a dried flower from a special bouquet or a special memory then you could actually use that lock of hair all sorts of different things you can actually use and encapsulate within your resin um my my other half has actually got a piece and it's the turf from um when they changed the the turf at leicester city yeah in resin there you go i didn't do it but you can get those and you can make it and sell different things i'm not suggesting you go down to your local team and like start digging up the turf and start doing similar no this is all 
this is all done. It was when they were replacing things, so we're okay. Now, last thing that I didn't get a chance to share with you is your art res resin. Now, I'll need to mention uh, to, well, well, we'll speak to uh, uh, um, Joe. My head just went, because uh, I see old Jen on there and it threw me for a moment. I was thinking, who's Jen? <laughs> um, so, Joe, just a few moments to find out about this one. But we're looking at your art resin and your hardener. Again, you've got 500 mils of one, you've got 250 of the other, and you've got your gloves and, of course, you've got your mixing spatula. Um, and, yeah, so everything is there that you need. But I do need to speak to Joe about this one because I'm not entirely sure about this one. Now, £32.39, and pence. that's your Freedom membership price on this one. Um, at 391022. To. So, Joe, Joe, and I can see you're getting ready for your next demo, so I'm yep. sorry to interrupt you. But tell me about these last two that we've got. We've got the Gen Art Artistic Resin Part um, A, Part B. Right, OK. That's what I'm going to be using here. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I'll shut up then. <laughs> 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 we'll leave, leave Joe to tell us in a few moments. So, if you're wanting to get hold of any of these goodies, then, of course, you'll find them on the website. But what when Joe isn't here? Well, you go to our brand section, don't you? Top left-hand corner of the website, you'll see there's a little letter B for brands. Well, actually, it says brands. Click on there. It'll give you the full alphabet. And then whichever of our suppliers you are looking for, all you need to do is click on the initial letter. Now, for... Um, the glass hurt of course that is Joe's company though you can get all those different pigments so if you're not going for the starter set or you are and you fancy some additional covers then have a look at these my goodness these are gorgeous mica pigments it's pick and mix you can choose any of those for 9.99 brilliant value for money but there's loads on there and these are all the things that you can get hold of you've got different silicon molds featuring in there and um, you won't find the green man that we've been talking about or whatever the color you wanted to make him because he's sold out but hopefully we'll get more molds from our lovely Joe as time goes on so if you fancy a little kind of footer around there by all means please do so but it is time for us to go and have another look a little demonstration with our joe so what are you up to there joe right i thought we'd do some resin okay now with your resin they're all the safety instructions are all on the website so read through it um, make sure you work in a ventilated area gloves on always um, and just have a read through the data so you know what you're doing it is a chemical um, but treat it, you know, don't be scared of it, but just treat it with respect, basically. Um, so I've been using it for about seven years, I think, now, and it's come a long way in those seven years from, you know, really horrible, fumy stuff um, to what we've got today. So, um, yeah, I love it. So I know there's a few naughty people that have bought before but not used it, so I'll be after if you don't start using it. <laughs> OK, right. So I've got one of the circle frames. I've been playing about, I don't know whether you can see behind, um, but I've been playing about with the silhouettes. Oh, and wow, things. Joe. Gosh, that's dramatic with the black. Yes. Yeah. So I, see, I, I like... I like negative space. Yes. So I tend to, even with like my acrylic pores and that, I tend to um, leave either black or white. Um, so you've just got that negative space. That so you, looks it amazing. makes you focus more on what's in the middle. Yes. Say. We can see the one with the red there as well. I mean, very dramatic. Yeah. I mean, these are the sort of things that you'd see in a gallery and, and you could be making them yourselves. Yeah. I must admit, the finish isn't great on these because I was a little bit. Oh, well, they look good unlocked. to me. Um, now, with these, they did sell out earlier. We did have to have a conversation with Joe, um, and we have got them back on extended delivery. So it's just an extra week with regards to your dispatch on these, but don't miss out on them a second time. Details are on your screen. But, of course, this is what Joe's going to be working with, so let's see what she's up to. Right, so this one I've got here, that's the, the big one at the back, the about 11 inches it is. Um, the middle size one fits in the frames that are on the show. Lovely, with the two larger circles. Yeah, and, yeah. The, and the squares. They'll yeah, fit in the squares the as well. Sets, yeah. And then you've got some smaller ones in, you know, just a silhouette bundle that you can put on whatever mm -hmm. you like. So, what I've done is I've taken, it's a two to one resin. There are all sorts of different strengths. There's one to one, which is normally jewellery grade, um, two to one for your art resin and thinner casts. Then you've got three to one, which is a lot stronger, um, that you can do deeper casts in. So we're using a two to one. So it's 
two part A to one part B. So if you say you had 100 grams of part A, then just 50 of part B. Okay, easy enough All to right. do. Yeah. Joe, could I, could I be cheeky? Just in front of your demo area, you've got some little pots. Could you possibly move those just to the side, just so as we can see what you're up to, in case we're moving the camp? That's perfect. We can see exactly what you're up to then. No that, hiding. Is that it? That's that it. Spot on. We're on Perfect. a bit of a wonk, actually, aren't we? But no, no, you're fine. No, we're all right. <laughs> OK. Um, so... Uh, you've, got, you've got the whole of that mat, incidentally, right in the little corner there. You're <laughs> not making it easy for yourself, are you? <laughs> um, right, so I've mixed up... can't remember how much I've mixed up. Oh, I've, I've got 105, so I've done 70 and 35. OK. Um, a general rule is they say to mix for three minutes, but just mix it until you haven't got any more streaks going through. Yeah, um, it, is, it's, it is a funny way that you do have those kind of lighter streaks going through it. Yeah, it's, so once they've you all do gone... you you'll know what you're on about. Yeah, you're OK. Um, but, I mean, it, it will depend. The, the Gen Art resin is quite fluid. It does go a long way. I mean, I've used some resins before... Um, that are quite thick and they really hold the air but with the gen up because it is that much more fluid the air bubbles will disperse really easily okay right so I've got um, a little bit of gold pigment a little bit of copper oh all I've done to this by the way is I've just glued the frame down glued the lady's head down okay and yeah just black acrylic paint yeah can use use anything um, I've got some others for later that are sort of pink and blue. I always tend to use black, so okay. I thought, no, stop it. So, mm -hmm. I always put my micas in first. Okay. Because, um, one, I'm allergic to mica. Oh, right, okay. It's really bizarre. Um, and it stops the mica all flying about everywhere, yes. so you're not breathing it all in. If you put it on top, you've yes. then got to stir it in. That makes so sense. So put your mica in first and give it a good mix. And it's just absolutely Ooh, luscious. it's like liquid gold now. I know. Absolutely scrumptious. OK, and these are just like little... They remind me of those like little medicine pots or if you yeah. give to party, shot glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some spare. I've seen for them. I've seen them around. Well, I was going to say it's VE day on Friday, isn't it? It is, yeah. A couple of spare shot glasses won't go missing. Well, we'll all be, all be <laughs> drinking a toast, won't we? <laughs> right. Well, there we go. So, all I'm going to do, I might not have enough in here actually. Oh, look at that. Absolutely fabulous colour. See, what I like with these frames. Gosh, you use a tiny amount of colour as well. Yeah. What I like with these frames, it's not all going to spill over the edge because yes. you know how messy I am. Um, I'll have it running all over the place. Yes. Might just need oh, a little it looks bit like more. It's fizzing. But just take it up to your edges. Now, if somebody, I mean, obviously you're going to be wearing gloves, so there's no issue with you popping your finger in there. But if somebody p prefers the sensation of using like a brush or something like that, could they use a brush to move it yeah, around? Yeah, you can do. Just make sure you clean it with alcohol, otherwise your brush will be no good afterwards. Be like a stick. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be a weapon rather than a brush. <laughs> so, yeah, just bring it right to your edges. Oh, gorgeous colour. Try not to go over like Messy Mary here. <laughs> I do whatever I do. I end up having to. And I'm guessing, like as you do in there, you can kind of move it by tilting and turning. Yeah, we'll just give it a little. It get on all the little nooks and crannies then. Oh, just got to get her now, eyes. Now, when it actually came to obviously the the MDF pieces, you stuck down just with a, a regular glue. You don't have to use anything. Yeah, fast, no, fancy. just normal anything you've got glue. Sometimes I must admit I'm a little bit lazy. Okay. Um, and what I do is I put it all in place and then paint over it all and it sticks. Oh, right. So, um, but don't do what I do. Do as I 
And there's so. a good depth with those MDF pieces that you've got there. So yeah, it's, it's an easy way of getting a, a very effective result. The faces, I'll show you the faces again in a few moments, but you've got a series of, I think it's three different sizes with regards to those faces. This is the largest one, and the largest one sits neatly in the largest of the circles that we've got. And the frame around the edge there is alongside the, uh, the circles as well. We will give you all the details, but they are at the bottom of your screen. Um, we've also got square versions as well. So on the website, you will find all these different variants. We've having a very very busy hour um, with Joe. You've got another show later on haven't you Joe? Uh, for, for five o'clock. Five o'clock. Yeah. For, 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 for five o'clock. <laughs> so like Arkwright. Is it Arkwright? <laughs> Now, Christine has been in touch with us. Good afternoon, Christine. Good to have. Now, um, oh, she's talking about jewellery. Now, we had a little bit of a conversation. I know you've got a jewellery show coming up later this month, mm. but you were chatting earlier about resin for jewellery. What sort of resin should you use for jewellry? Oh, use, the, um, use this one, two to one. Okay. It's fine. Yeah. yeah, we've got something special coming up on the 17th of May. Lovely, but um, until that, this is fine to work with. Yeah, this is fine. It will be on that show as well. Oh, so, um, yeah, I'll give you a little sneak peek later. Oh, I say, are you teasing us? Now, if you do want the Gen Flow, we've got the details back up on the screen there, and that's the one where you're kind of using your part one to two, no, two to one, aren't you? Two of your larger bottle to one of your smaller. That's the way that I always remember it when I'm doing it, because, of course, you can see a larger bottle visualising that you need twice as much of that to the smaller bottle. Now, this is lovely. That looks amazing, Joe. I just, I just love the movement, like you get with the pigments. Yes. Um, they just swirl and, you know, uh, this is what I like about resin. You, you don't have to go nuts with it. Um, you can literally just put it on and just let it do its own thing because it will do its own yes. thing. Well, it'll find any little kind of crevices oh that my it God, can yeah. run into. Uh, definitely. So with this, you were saying earlier about 30 minutes or so working time with this. No, that's with the resi heat. Okay. With this one, you've got a lot longer. Oh, right, okay. I mean, I've even been in after three hours. Because really? you can draw through. Um, so, so if you oh, put a glove on, yes. you can make different shapes in the resin right so just it, when it's at that sticky stage before so if it's it sets. too fluid to hold those shapes at this stage go yes. back a couple of hours later yeah right. yeah um so really you're just kind of on your first sort of um layers you're kind of putting a base down i mean there's enough there to um like there's enough room left in there you can either do like a top coat, a clear top coat. Yes. And if you do a clear top coat, you start getting depth yes. in it. Yeah. Um, or you can do, you know, add different colours to it. This um, looks amazing. If you do get messy like me, you can just paint over it once it's dry. Okay. I'm terrible, I am. So, so have you used something like a gesso to paint the, the MDF to start with? You or can do. Acrylic? Yeah. yeah, gesso or acrylic paint. I don't yeah. know if to put a little bit of gold in her hair, would you reckon? Mm-hmm. Now, time wise, I've got myself really caught up in the demonstration. Now, we've only got about three and a half minutes left, Joe. I'm sorry, I've been chatting away and didn't, not watching the clock. So, they will, that will spread a little bit, this gold, like little tadpoles. <laughs> oh, this looks effective. So, and again, it's just going to go where, where you kind of drizzle it. Yeah, that, that will change once it's sort of stopped moving. Um, that will change a little bit and that gold will spread out slightly. Um, but you can just play. And as I say, you, you, you haven't got to rush with it. I've worked with some resins whereby, you know, you've got half an hour and you're thinking, oh my God. Yeah. Um, and I just, that just stresses me out. This looks amazing. Um, so with this resin, could you use this if you wanted to, I was talking earlier about if you've got some like a dried flower or something like that, could you encapsulate, yes. use this resin for that as well? Yeah. Oh, and actually, you know what? Start getting your flowers from your garden. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So start either pressing them right. or get some silica sand yeah. and dry them. Oh. Um, I've got... Have we got something coming up then that we might need them for? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. She's teasing oh, us yeah. again. I've got something here with a flower in. I can quickly show you. Oh, now we've rapidly been out of time. It's OK. We'll have a look at it. Don't worry. Just to let you guys at home know that um, Joe is going to be back with us later on, though. So, of course, you've got loads more demonstrations at five o'clock. Had a very busy hour. It's been really good to have your company during this hour. And uh, you have been loving everything that Joe's brought to us. Let's have a little look at what you've got there, though, Joe. So this is a dried flower. Yeah, there's dried petals in there. Oh, so the state of my nails. That's why I have my gloves <laughs> on. Worry. Oh, um, hold it nice and still for us and we'll have a little look at this. Connie oh. doesn't know I've stolen this. 
so I'll oh, get in trouble. Oh, now this is your daughter. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. So those are actual petals within that shape. Yeah. So start saving your, uh, yeah, start getting your flowers. Okay. Um, and your dandelions as well. Ooh, like once okay. they've gone to seed. Oh, I remember you having the, the dandelion that was seeded. It yeah. was like in a block. Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh, my goodness. Right, yeah. okay. Looking forward yeah. to this. And what date was that again? What, what, what? What date was that? Uh, 17th. 17th. Put a ring around it on the calendar because you'll definitely want to watch that. It's been really good to have your company. We're going to say goodbye to Joe. Give us a wave, Joe. We're going to say Bye, goodbye for the time thank being. You. Um, but Joe will be back at five o'clock um, with Yanis. Yanis is going to be blown away with what um, we've seen. So, uh, yeah. And uh, who knows what's going to be left at that stage as well. Um, but it's been a busy hour. You've been loving the uh, Birch Ladies as well. And I'm glad that demonstration showed you just how amazing these are because when they are there, they're beautiful, but you really can't see the scope that you've got with regards to these they're absolutely beautiful love those um at 482 at 326 half of the stock of the extended delivery stock has gone so 13th of may that we're looking at with regards to those worth every single one of those days wait but you've got your large ones that joe worked with with those circles don't forget those circles on the website the ones with the frames those are the ones that you need to replicate what we saw joe do a few moments ago we've got smaller versions so some of the smaller faces you could be making little coasters with with the smaller circles that we've got in a similar sort a scenario but once you actually see them come together you can understand why we've had such a busy hour so yeah make sure you come back and join us at five o'clock for even more from joe but stay tuned because we've got more coming up here at a chander